Hello, my name is Brian Mitchell, and I'm in Inside Sales. I'm Lucas Whitmer. I'm a product development engineer. And we're here today to talk about the whole saw cutters that we offer. So, Lucas, can you tell me a little bit about the options that we have? Yeah, so first off, we have our Impact Ready whole saw cutter. Uh, so these will fit in any impact uh, drill that you have. Um, they're very well suited to electrical and plumbing applications. We also have our carbide tipped hole cutter uh, seen here. Uh, we have these in a one inch depth and a 3 16 inch depth. And these are very well suited for fabrication style materials. So we talked about the two different types. Tell me a little bit more about what can they be used in? So these are primarily geared towards sheet metal applications. Going through a steel stud, going through an electrical box, um, any type of plumbing and electrical applications because they cut sheet metal so well. Uh, where these are more geared towards cutting those thicker fabrication style materials on a drill press or in a regular drill. Uh, just because these carbide tips can go through those heavier, more abrasive types of applications. Okay. All right, so what are some of the similarities and differences with these two? So you can see that both of these have the stepped shoulder on the outside. That's so you don't have over penetration when you're cutting your hole. So the worst, the last thing you'd want to do is when you're cutting an electrical box to go the whole way through and send a spinning hole saw into whatever's inside there. Same with fabrication style materials. You don't want to go too far into your workpiece and go through the other side and tear up your drill press or whatever's inside of whatever you're drilling. Um, another thing that's similar between the two is that they both have a 135 degree uh, bit on the end. So that way when you start your hole, you're not walking all around your workpiece. They also have the automatic ejecting uh, spring here, so that way your slug doesn't get stuck in the middle of your hole saw. So the differences between these two hole cutters is that this one is very thin and has very fine teeth on it, geared more towards those sheet metal type of applications. That's so when you get part way through your cut, this thing doesn't try to grab and give you a real bird up hole. Uh, the difference between this one is that you have these great big carbide teeth which are very good for stainless steels, mild steels, and any thicker applications. Okay. You'll also notice that this body's thicker. You'll get a little bit better rigidity out of this, but it's gonna be a slower cut because you're taking such wide curve where this one will cut much faster, especially in sheet metal. Um, another difference here is that this one can come in a one inch depth, so you can go through those thicker pieces where this comes in the, the standard depth for electrical boxes and any electrical and uh, plumbing applications. For more information, please visit mkmorse.com or call our customer service department.